Okay, so question 31. Your daredevil friends attach a rope to a 140 kilogram sled that rests on a frictionless icy surface. The rope extends horizontally to a smooth dead tree trunk lying at the edge of a cliff. Another person attaches a 30 kilogram rock at the end of the rope after it passes over the tree trunk and then releases the rock. The rope is initially taut. Determine the acceleration of the sled. The force that the rope exerts on the sled and on the rock at the time interval during which the person can jump off the sled before it reaches the cliff 10 metres ahead. There is no friction between the rope and the tree trunk. So we're going to draw this out. So we have our cliff and we'll model our tree trunk as a pulley. This is really a pulley problem. And we'll draw the sled and the rock. And once again, it shouldn't matter too much how these things look. We should remind ourselves that this distance that we have to go across is 10 meters. The sled is 140 kilograms and the rock is 30 kilograms. And so we consider each body, which will number one and two, we consider each body individually in order to determine the equations that govern this scenario. So considering body one, normal reaction force and gravity are going to cancel out and so the only direction we need to consider is horizontal. And as it's frictionless, it's just tension as our only force. And there's force is equal to mass times acceleration, T is equal to MA, so T is equal to 140 times the acceleration. Now for body two, this time it's entirely gravity and the rope that is pulling us back up. So the net force that's acting is 30 G, it's 30 times the gravitational constant, subtract of tension, and that's going to equal 30 A, 30 times the acceleration of the system. And so we substitute the value for T that we got from equation one into equation two giving us 30g minus 140a is equal to 30a. It's not quite clear, let's make that into an equal sign there. Okay, so that would give us 30g equal to 170a. You see what I was uh, going to do there. We're going to do it on the next line. 30g over 170 is equal to the acceleration a. Popping this into a calculator, we get a value of 1.73 meters per second squared. And then we say we take tension. And tension we already have an equation for, it's just equation 1 up here. And so that's equal to 140 multiplied by the value for A that we already have. The one that we've determined. And popping this into a calculator gives us a value of 242 newtons. So all that's left to do now is determine how long we've got to jump off the sled uh, before we reach the cliff edge. So we should make a note of a few values here, where S is equal to the distance traversed, so that's going to be 10 meters. U is our initial velocity, so we'll start that at 0 meters per second. Our final velocity doesn't matter, and our acceleration is equal to 1.73. And the key part here is the question mark next to time. So an equation that we need would be S, our distance is equal to UT plus half a t squared. It's just a few, it's just a kinematics law. But of course, as the initial velocity is equal to zero, this term is just zero itself. So substituting in, we have 10 is equal to half times the acceleration, which is half multiplied by 1.73, multiplied by t squared. 
And we can rearrange this, of course, to be 20 over 1.73. And this is equal to t squared. Putting this into a calculator, that would mean that t is equal to the square root of 20 over 1.73. And in the calculator, we can very quickly determine that t is equal to 3.4 seconds. And that is question 31.